What's up, everybody? It's Fan here. And uh, in case you guys hadn't already heard, Blizzard just announced, they just released the 2018 BlizzCon schedule. Uh, and I have it loaded up right up here. And uh, uh, let's be honest, you know, there's a lot of good things that, uh, you know, Blizzard does. You know, that's fine. But uh, this, is, this is what we're all excited about. And that is uh, this guy right here. On... November 3rd, so Saturday, the second day of BlizzCon, they're going to be having a Creating WoW Classic panel. From 5.30 to 6.15, hear from the World of Warcraft developers as they discuss their journey to recreate the classic WoW experience. I, I would say the majority of people who watch my channel, this is kind of the main thing that they're hyped up for, the main thing that they'd be excited about is WoW Classic. We already knew this was going to happen. Ian Hazakosa said there's going to be a demo, and there's going to be a dedicated panel for WoW Classic. Having having the the panel isn't necessarily news in and of itself, but since I guess the the date and time and everything is set and official now, uh, I kind of wanted to share with you guys some uh, kind of some footnotes, some things that I expect to see at this panel, what I would like to see, I guess, and uh, we can go from there. Well, first off, let's talk about this. We know we know that it's going to be on patch 1.12. They've talked about this before. They they think that patch 1.12 is the most complete version of vanilla, and it's the version that uh, they think will represent, or they think it'll be the best fit for WoW Classic. So we know that. Uh, they might talk about that a little bit more, but we already know that. I would like to see how they treat the raid content and the itemization, and I mean that in terms of progression. Um, <clears throat> the concept of progressive raid content uh, it's pretty well received that that is the best way to approach the game. If they were to release the game and, and to put Nax out right at the beginning, I think the game would just be straight up dead on arrival. Uh, I, I think, and I don't think I really don't think they're going to do it. But I, I would just would like to see some confirmation. I expect to see some confirmation of that. Uh, something that I think it's very very important, but not quite as important as uh, progressive raid content is progressive itemization. I actually made a video about it in the past if you want to go back there and you want to check that out. There are certain items that you have early on in the early patches that get changed later on. It actually changes how you approach certain situations, how you play your class, and, and really the, uh, I, I would say the difficulty of the things that you encounter in the game. So I, I would like to see progressive itemization as well. Also, uh, it, it says here from the World of Warcraft developers as they discuss their journey to recreate the classic WoW experience. Uh, this leads me to believe that we're probably going to get our first chance to officially meet the team. Uh, I think that's something that's going to be really, really cool to, to finally be able to put a face on uh, on the people that are making this. There's also kind of been like, you know, there, there's been some, some rumors kind of going around, uh, you know, not to get too conspiratorial or anything. Whether, whether it was the leaks that anybody can go on the internet and post, or the fact that, you know, Tips, Tips did an interview with Nano from Nostrout, Nostalrius, and he said that nobody has heard from Damon or Viper in about a year and a half. J. Allen Brack said in a Forbes interview that they would be willing to uh, kind of consult with them to kind of take on their expertise. So, I, I don't know, not, not to get too conspiratorial, we don't want to do that, but, but I think that'd be something in, interesting to watch for as well. The next thing that I would like to see are plans for a beta period. There is going to be a very small testing period for the week after BlizzCon. We already know about the demo. I think that we could possibly get a beta close to the end of the year, maybe even early next year. Uh, I think we're really not that far off from a beta period. I'd be very excited about a WoW Classic beta. I might make another video about that. The next thing that I would like to see is gameplay footage. Uh, and, and more specifically, I want to see some comparisons. If they have higher resolution textures, if they have higher resolution spell effects, uh, I actually want to see them, and, and I want to judge for myself. I want to judge with my own eyes instead of my imagination running wild and like, how, how could this be? How could that be? I think it'd be cool to, uh, if they are, if they are going to tighten up and, and increase the the resolution of these textures. Um, I don't know. At, at least be able to see them, and instead of just kind of, hey, we're doing this or we're not doing. It. I mean, I'd like to hear if they're doing this or not doing this, but I'd like to actually see it as well. I'd also like to see how we'll we'll actually access the game if it's going to be a part of the retail client, uh, or if it's going to be a separate button on the Battle.net launcher. I expect it to be a part of the retail client. Uh, you know, again, we, we talked about the J. Allen Brack Forbes interview. He has said that they don't necessarily want to worry about managing two MMOs at the same time. Maybe what he was alluding to was that you, you access the game through this, and we also know in the WoW Classic, develop, uh, the developer water cooler that came out a few months back, that they were going to strip down the original game 
uh, and, and work backwards, basically like reverse engineer the game to classic as opposed to try and like spaghetti code it together and, and make it work that way. Another thing I think a lot of people are, are, are wondering about is the subscription model. I hear it all the time on, on my streams. Do I think it'll be the same subscription? Do I think it'll be a separate subscription? Do I think it'll be the same price? Do I think it'll be cheaper or whatever? I fully expect Blizzard to have one subscription that's shared between classic and the live servers. And especially if they're a part of the same client, Right, this kind of this kind of goes back to that. Especially if they're part of the same client, I do expect it to just be the one subscription. So you just you pay for WoW, you get WoW. I think that would be cool. I think that's great. And from the Blizzard side of things, they might see it as a way to get people who are mo mainly focused on live WoW to maybe try Classic, and people who are mainly focused on Classic WoW to try out live WoW. So we'll see. Just from like a business standpoint, that's what I expect them to do. I'd also like to hear about how many servers they plan on launching. Uh, I, I think how many servers and the cap size of those servers kind of go hand in hand to kind of give us an idea. They might not tell us this because if they tell us this, this inadvertently gives us information about what their expectations are for how many people are going to play Classic off launch and, and they might not want to say. Maybe I don't entirely expect them to, but I, I think that'd be something cool to hear from them. And also something that I've talked about for a really long time is the implementation of Battle.net. Uh, I would really like to hear about how they they want to do that because Battle.net is very different. I know there's Discord. I know there's there's different means. Things have happened over the years. People people have an, uh, a much easier time communicating outside of their uh, their their smaller network than they did in 2004. Battle.net is one of those things that's been implemented in the post that. Uh, could have adverse, adverse effects on the game, particularly on PvP servers and stuff like that, as, as far as like uh, cross-faction collusion goes, and uh, just being able to, to right-click somebody the opposing, fa opposing faction like you can in Retail WoW and add them to your friends list. I, I think stuff like that probably shouldn't be implemented, but uh, I, I would like to hear it from them and, and see kind of where they're at with that, how they want to implement Battle then. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. This will be my very first BlizzCon that I'm going to. Myself, Stay Safe, and Tips are all getting to go together, and we're incredibly, incredibly excited. Class Class Crew is going to be there. I'm sure we'll have a lot of stories to share with you guys. And make sure to check out my streams on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter, SFANTV on every platform. I just got partnered on Discord, discord.gg slash SFANTV. It is the biggest uh, classic content creator community Discord. So you guys are more than welcome to come, talk classic, talk whatever you want, have fun. And hope to see you guys soon. Thanks.